Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video where we get to see who's done well in the Midnight Mule mini league and then what my plans are for the coming game week. Top scorer in the league this week was Daniel Chesters with Saka Potatoes with 79 points. Saka only got three points, that's a sack of potatoes for sure. And Bremo 16, Odegaard and Estupinan got 11. Watkins 10 because he was captain, Saliba 8, Henry 5, nobody else bothered to do anything else. And then nothing on the bench to speak of. Top of the league is Shawnee M with Vikings FC. They scored 67 points. Their team was in Bremo for 16, March for 15. A stupid and for 11, Watkins for 5, and Captain Harland, pretty rubbish, got 4. But most people captained Harland, so Harland was definitely the safe choice. On the bench, no points lost, so that's pretty good as well. As for myself, I'm in 69th position at the moment. I managed 60 points, but I did have to make a sub because James was injured. So I swapped Rashford and James for Umbremo and Trent, which was worth a total of 12 points after the four point deduction so that was certainly very nice now i know a lot of people were holding on to rashford and fernandez i never had fernandez and i thought yeah united look pretty soft get rid so i actually have no man united players now and they're at home this week to fulham so i'm slightly exposed there so my team was in bremo 16 matoma 12 a stupid nanny 11 salah who i captained 10 and that's all on the bench, Bulldog was injured, didn't play. Nakamba and Bayer didn't even have games, so they didn't play. And Pickford, Everton were rubbish, no points there. So I was kind of lucky to have the right bench, but also didn't really have much choice. So 60 points just inside the 900,000 rank for the week. Overall, I'm just inside the 1 million mark. So a green arrow, so that was nice. I'm one point inside the one million and five points away from the half a million. That's according to Live FPL. Great site, worth checking out. 724 subscribers to the channel. Thank you very much for everyone who subscribes and watches this thing. Now there's a website, FPL Game Week, and on there they have a content creators league, which I like to look at. I look at this a lot. Top at the moment is James from Planet FPL. He's a top guy. I enjoy listening to him rambling on about whatever it is he likes to talk about. I'm currently down in 16th place, which is two points behind Ross, FPL Raptor, who's a further three points behind Andy and Harry, who have the same team, and Holly. They're all on 136. The only good thing to say about my position is I am two points ahead of FPL Mate. I know he's very popular. How this is going to change over the season, who knows, but last season I managed to plummet quite quickly. So the transfers, I've actually already made my transfers. Now I'm following my 5% system. I don't know if you've seen that. That's my other set of videos. I did these transfers last night because I thought the prices were going to move. So I've swapped Trent for Trippier. Now Trent's currently flagged and because my squad is so thin with players who are any good, I can't afford to have players who are a minute's risk. We don't know Trent's going to play, so he's out. I felt very exposed not having Trippier for the first two weeks. I know his fixtures weren't good and I'm aware a lot of people are not going to buy Trippier till maybe game week five. But I think Trippier can get bonus points and assist against anyone. So I'm very pleased to be bringing him in. And I suspect if he doesn't get injured, he may well just stay in my team now for the last 36 weeks. And then my other move was Yao Pedro for Vissa. Pedro missed a lot of the last game. I know it's thought he's probably going to start this coming game due to uh, Zitantico's injured. But uh, I'd rather have Vista anyway, I think. And I would have dropped Jao Pedro in week four anyway. So I'm only dropping him a week early. So for my team, I've got Harland as captain. I think he's going to be the most widely captain player this week. I also have Salah. They're my two expensive players. And because of that, the rest of my team's a little bit thin. And they're the only players that are away this week for me. So that's very nice. I think home advantage is a massive thing. So I always try and have people playing at home if I possibly can. So I have Pickford in goal at home to Wolves. May keep a clean sheet. I've got Trippier at home to Liverpool. He can get an assist bonus points against anyone. I've got Chilwell at home to Luton with his mate Jackson. 
I've got a student at home to West Ham with his mate Matoma. I have Saka at home to Fulham. I have Mbremo at home to Palace with his mate Vissa. As things stand at the moment, I'm happy enough with that. By the time we get to the end of Sunday and all the games have been played, I may be thinking that wasn't such a good squad. But we'll see. We'll see how it works out. And on my bench, I've got Turner away to United, Bayer at home to Villa, Bulldogs possibly going to be injured. They're at home to Man City and Nakamba away to Chelsea. But hopefully none of those are going to be coming into play, so it won't matter. As for the picture, in case you're wondering, I like feeding the birds in the garden. Took me forever to get them to pose for this photo. But there we are, two blue tits with a mini football. And there we have it. That's what happened in the league for game week two, and that's my plan for game week three. Let me know how you're getting on, and I'll try and answer any questions that you happen to ask that are relevant to football. Personal questions, maybe not so much. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>